guys i hope you guys like that intro it was really fun to do with the puppy so today is launch day so that means we're gonna do lots of unboxing so right now we're looking at the sapphire hd 7970 this card is exactly the same as the reference card that you guys saw a couple weeks ago that released just that it has the sapphire nomenclature and probably a custom sticker or something on the fan we'll jump into it you guys can see here's the outside of the box you got the girl out here she looks irritated Maybe she needs a knife to make her feel a little better. I don't know. What you say, honey? Anyways, let's go around. Going to go ahead on the side of the box right here. This little cap right here. It's going to pop that. Pop it open. Jam the box open. Get right to the heart of the matter here. Show you guys the back of the box. Not much to it. So that's why I'm not really talking about it. Obviously, it's going to have all the same features as most of the AMD cards. You're going to get Ifinity. You guys know all the new features, 28 nanometer, all that good stuff. That's there, a little glaring box. Just gonna go ahead and set it off to the side. Jumping inside the box, go ahead and pop the cardboard flap. On top, we have the accessories box. I will go ahead and first open that up. You guys know Sapphire really excels in giving you guys a lot of stuff. Everything is inside of here. Molex connectors to your power. Adapters for both DisplayPort and HDMI are included. Adapters to DVI. Just all kinds of nifty adapters in there. Even old school VGA, if you happen to have that, I pray tell you don't. You got a nice cable right here. This is your HDMI cable. It'll be the new 1.4 standard type as well. Uh, another one, this one's from the main display port to the DVI here as well. Flip that around. This one actually comes with a crossfire cable itself. A lot of times this comes in the motherboard. These guys give it to you in the box. Got another Molex to six pin power connector here as well. Set that down. Got the Sapphire little graphics card user's guide. The driver's installation CD right here, along with the case badge. And then we also have the Sapphire Club. What you do is you register your card here at sapphiretech.com. This allows you to benefit from all of their new programs and for prize that they give out. Moving on, basically this is all the stuff right here. If you're reading our written review, this would be the content or bundle page. Gonna go ahead and just move that stuff out of there. But you guys can see that Sapphire really does include a lot of extras in their box. They really go out for that. So bring this back over here. Gonna get it, here's the card. Here it is. Sapphire HD 7970, pretty much exactly like the reference card. Looks exactly like the reference cards that came from AMD, almost exactly. 2048 stream processors, three gigabytes of GDR5 memory, 384 bit memory interface, features new PCI 3.0. Pretty cool card. I like it, looks cool. There are gonna be a lot of different cards from Sapphire. This is just one based off the reference model for this launch date. Gonna flip it around to the rear IO. DVI, HDMI, main display port, nothing new there. All the cards are gonna have this on that. Flip it around to the back. See, we have two of the crossfire fingers right here. Supports quad crossfire. Flip around, here are the power. You have your eight and your six pin. So 75 and 150 watt power requirements right there, along with the 75 watts you're gonna be getting from the PCI interface. So you guys can also see it's a two card slot configuration, like most cards these days. Fan, intake, exhaust. So that's pretty much it. I mean, you guys can see right here, it just has the Radeon logo right there. Hey guys, this is just the unboxing. Click here though for the full review here on launch date, January 9th, 2012 on motherboards.org.